I did notice a little bitty error in the pattern. I just got to Fabric Outlet and Crafts. I am back again, but the reason I'm back is because the fabric that I bought has a flaw in it. There is a whole line of stitching that is just really weak. It looks like it's going to rip or pull out. And yeah, I'm going in here. I don't know what they're going to say. I may be stuck with this. Who knows? And I can cut around it, but I figured I'll just, you know, bring it back and see what they say. And actually, I kind of want to get a little bit more too because the dress that I want to make is super simple. And I was looking at the fabric and I was thinking that to get the best use out of the two different fabrics or the prints that maybe I will make the front in one side and then the back in the other side and to do that I think I should get a little more fabric they took that fabric back no problems no problem at all and then I went and I got some more and we opened it up and we were looking at it and making sure that it was fine and it looks like it's fine so that's good, so now I can go home. Actually, I'm going to Costco because I'm gonna make some fish tonight. I think I'm gonna make some tilapia. But yeah, so I may not even start sewing today. Maybe it'll be later on this week. I have my tilapia cooking. Can you hear it? I'm waiting, this is the first batch. I'm waiting for it to come out and I'm gonna put it over here on this rack. The dress that I want to make is McCall's 8216. I've made this pattern before. It's really easy. And before I made view C, and this time I'm going to make view A. The pattern is rated as easy, so yeah, it really is easy. There aren't a whole lot of pieces. So after I make this dress, I think I'm also going to make a pair of jeans with the denim that I picked up. You can purchase some lace trim and add it to the hem of the sleeves and also to the hem of the dress. View A calls for four pattern pieces and the front and the back pieces, which are piece one and two, can be cut on the fold. to have the front of the dress be gingham and then the back is going to be plaid so right now I'm about to sew them together the front and the back and yeah do I have, wait a minute is this right yep I have it right okay it gets kind of confusing when you're mixing up the fronts and the backs with the different patterns so I think I have it right now so I'll sew up both of the side seams and then next it will be working on the sleeves and there are some gathers that go around the neckline and then I'll be able to hem it and be pretty much done after that I decided to go ahead and make the sleeves for view B because I have a lot of fabric left. There is elastic that goes in the hem area. I don't want to add the elastic to my hem sleeve. So that means I need to reduce some of the volume because it's pretty wide down here. So I drew some lines and I'm going to cut along these lines and then I'm going to fold the pattern on top of itself to kind of close up this area down here. 
Okay, so I reduced the volume and now I'm also going to take off two inches from the hem. I decided to use the gingham side of the fabric for the sleeves. Now I just need to put gathering stitches around the neck edge. I am really, really loving this dress. It's the fabric because the dress is so simple, but the fabric is what I am just so crazy about. I did decide to use the plaid side of the fabric for the neck band area. And I also made an extra small. up a zipper so that I can make macaws, not macaws, no me 2069. I want to make the pants. I love that they're wide leg. I already cut out the pattern pieces and I did notice a little bitty error in the pattern. You'll need 11 pattern pieces to make the pants. However, if you count all these up, it only comes to 10 pattern pieces because they forgot to put in piece number 18, which is your pocket facing piece. I cut out some of the... I took... My husband's watching something on TV. I took some of the extra fabric that I had left over and I decided that I want to add some applique to the front legs of the jeans. So I did also buy some fusible web to help me do that. This is the fusible web that I picked up. This is the metal zipper and look how nicely that zipper matches with the fabric. I just got lucky because I was guessing. I didn't have the fabric with me in the store, but when I got home, I was like, okay, that's a pretty good match. I surged around all of these pieces that I plan to use for applique. I'm going to take the pocket, which is from McCall's 8458, and I'm gonna put that on the back of my pants. These are pleats that are in the pocket, so I'm going to stitch the pleats. I did one pocket already, and this is how it is looking. I just need to press this open, and then this is how it looks from the opposite side, and then it's going to have a flap over the top of the pocket. I just finished putting the pockets on the bag and then next I'm going to figure out how I want these pieces to be placed on the front legs of the pants. I think I want my pieces to go a little something like this. So now what I'm going to do is take a photo. I'm going to peel away the backing from the fusible web. This is sticky. And I'm going to take this. Ooh, this is a big sheet. I probably should have cut it down. And I'm going to press it onto the wrong side of the fabric piece. I'm just going to actually place this whole piece of paper sticky side down on the back side so it looks like this. And then I'm going to cut around this. Since I have the whole sheet, I guess I can go ahead and add another piece. So I'm going to place this wrong side down onto the sticky paper and press it down and see if I can get another piece. Oh, that one might not fit. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut around these pieces. I actually should have pressed 
the pieces onto the fusible web and then cut the pieces out, I just realized that I forgot to press the pieces. All of the pieces have paper on the back now and the paper is sticky. So these have essentially become stickers. So all I'll need to do is take a pen and score a line through the paper. I'll show you how to do that. Take a pen and just run it through the paper like that. And then you can separate it, peel it up and separate the paper. And then it's gonna be sticky. Then you can take your pieces and stick them back on top of your pants. I'm going to open my picture and follow the picture and stick these pieces back onto the pants. After the pieces are pressed down where you want them, then take a hot iron and fuse the pieces to your garment. Let's see where I want this. I uh, think I'll have this kind of right there. And once all the pieces are stuck down, then I'm going to go around the edges and just stitch it down. I have the metal zipper in and there are back darts. And I did take off an inch and a half from the hem because the pants were long. Now I just need to put on the waistband. I finished off the button closure with a jean button and then I also used the plaid fabric to line the pockets. Yes. So our game night is coming up and I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a dry erase board and then I started thinking about it. I don't have anything to place or lean the dry erase board up against. So then I got online and I started looking for an easel and I saw that they have these things where you have the dry erase board and the easel all connected in one. I was like, oh, that would be so much better. So online they said they had them at Walmart. They even said they had them at Michael's. So I was like, okay, let me, first I'm gonna get some gas. But I was like, let me take this dry erase board back and then I'm gonna go to Walmart and see if they really do have them in store because I don't have time to order them online. I need it like in the next couple days you order from Amazon and it'll say next day and then sometimes it comes two days later so anyway I just want to make sure I have it so I want to go in the store and actually put my hands on it and pick it up I would hate to order it and then it not be here when it's time to play the game so anyway that's where I'm on my way to is Walmart maybe Michaels and I also saw that Home Depot may have some Walmart is closed. They have red tape on all the doors saying danger, so I don't know what's going on. So now I'm just gonna go to Home Depot and see if I can find one there. So I went to Home Depot and they said that they can ship to the store but they don't carry the product in the store. So then I drove to another Walmart, which I'm leaving right now. They pretty much said the same thing. They had some dry erase boards in the store, but not with the easel. So guess what I'm about to do? order this thing on Amazon I sure am I tried and it's Wednesday I need it by Saturday so I should be able to get it but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep the one from Hobby Lobby and that way if it doesn't come in time then I have a backup but yeah I don't want to keep driving all over the place the dry erase board came today 
and it's perfect because tomorrow is Saturday. So it's here and ready to be set up. I got a big one too. Hey, hey, one time like 